Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the fastest, easiest way to get 20 rebounds with Ruby David Wesley. If you don't have David Wesley yet, don't worry because he's not hard to get. You don't even need 3000 XP to get him at level 13. Once you get him though, he has one XP challenge that you can complete to get 1250 XP. All you have to do is get 20 rebounds, which sounds easy. If you don't know David Wesley, you're probably thinking, Doc! Why are you making a video on this? It's literally grabbing rebounds. Grabbing rebounds is easy. And you're right, grabbing rebounds is very easy. But with David Wesley, there's one catch. He's six feet tall. Even though David Wesley's a primary shooting guard, he's only six feet tall. So of course, getting rebounds with Wesley is not as easy as you may think. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest strategy to get these rebounds as fast as possible. In my stream earlier, so many of you guys were saying that you just couldn't get rebounds with this card. So to everybody watching this video, whether you're subscribed to my channel or not, I hope this video helps you out because this is probably the toughest XP challenge so far in my team season seven. So yeah, let me stop stalling and let me show you guys how to do this. So first things first, for this strategy, you're gonna need a little bit of MT. Emphasis on a little bit of MT, trust me. Since David Wesley is six feet tall, you need to buy two players on the auction house who are shorter than he is. And the first player that comes to mind for me is Spud Webb. Ruby Spud Webb? You can buy him for less than 1,500. There we go, Spud Webb for 950, 1,200, 1,100. You can get Spud Webb for less than 1,000 MT, and he is five foot seven. Spud Webb is one option. Another guy is Utah Taboos. Utah to boost, 1,100, 1,000, 1,050. You guys get the picture. He's less than 1,000 MT. And he is five foot nine. So five foot nine, five foot seven. David Wesley's gonna be the tallest player at six feet tall. And you're probably wondering, why is that important? So if any of y'all are unfamiliar with how triple threat works, your tallest player on your team, even if they're not a center, is gonna play center for your team. So Spud Webb, he's 5'7", he's gonna guard the other team's point guard. Yuta Taboos, he's 5'9", so he's gonna guard their second tallest player. And David Wesley is 6 feet, so he's gonna guard their tallest player, no matter how tall they are. David Wesley is gonna be the closest to the rim, which means he has the best chances of getting rebounds. You guys can get this challenge done in triple threat offline, but you can also do it in spotlight challenges. If you've completed the 2015-2017 Spotlight Challenges, you can play game number two, which is a 3v3 triple threat game, and the tallest player on the opposing team is six foot one. So honestly, I think this game might be the best game to play to get challenges done, especially this challenge right here. Because in triple threat offline, you can match up with anybody. You might match up versus like a seven foot five player. You know what I mean? Either way, I'm gonna show you guys. This strategy works in triple threat offline and spotlight challenges. So in today's video, we're going to do a little bit of both. Let's go ahead and hop in a triple threat offline and let's see what our matchup's like. All right. So in this game right here, we kind of got a bad matchup. The shortest player is Devin Booker, who's six foot six. We also got Joe Harris at six foot six and Poku at seven feet tall. However, notice Poku has a 74 three point shot, which is not very good. So even though he's seven feet tall, you guys are going to see his height's not really going to matter this game. Basically, I'm going to completely disregard Poku on offense. I'm going to sag off. I'm going to leave him open at the three-point line. And if he shoots it, I'm ready for the rebound. Of course, if you leave him open, Poku's not going to miss every shot. But notice how I just sag off. He immediately fires. He misses. And David Wesley's right there for the rebound. And this doesn't just work with Poku. If there's any player on the other team who can't really shoot, you can sag off of him. They'll shoot the three if you give him space. And especially on next gen, they'll most likely miss. I'm gonna leave him open for the third straight time. He's gonna shoot it again. He's gonna miss it again. And there's three rebounds already. The score is eight to three, and we already have three rebounds. Spud Webb, not super tall. Utah Taboos, not super tall. So those guys aren't gonna steal your rebounds. David Wesley's right there, all by himself, to get the rebounds. So if you can get one out of three guys on the other team who can't really shoot, leave them open, they'll shoot it pretty much every time, they'll miss it, and you'll have a chance at a rebound every single time. We could have gotten that one right there, but of course my teammate decided to steal it. I'm gonna keep on leaving him open. He's gonna go top of the key. He's gonna shoot it again, and that's off. Once again, bad bounce on the rebound. We could have gotten that, but the ball took a bad bounce. 
If you want to purposely turn the ball over and give them more chances on offense to miss shots, you can do that too. Like I said earlier, I think this might work better in Spotlight Sims. Because in Triple Threat, you might match up versus 7-footers, guys who are really tall, 3 guys who can all really shoot, but in the game of Spotlight Sims I was talking about, every player on the other team is so short, wow, Poku airballed that. You can leave them open, they're gonna miss, but to be fair, you can also leave them open in Triple Threat, offline, and they're still gonna miss too. Devin Booker's open this time. We're gonna let him shoot. He misses. Eight rebounds for David Wesley. David Wesley has eight rebounds. Utah Taboose has three rebounds. And Spud Webb has one rebound. So low key, my teammates have been stealing my rebounds. We're doing everything right, but my teammates are stealing my rebounds. We could literally have double digit rebounds already. Poku's open again. He shoots it again. Wow. Now, if you wanna give the CPU some more chances, just run out of bounds give them the ball back, and keep on leaving them open. Give the ball back to them over and over again, they're gonna keep on missing again and again and again, and you can do this as many times as you want to. Let me go ahead and make sure I don't lose. David Wesley, for the win. That was not a bad first game, showing you guys the strat. 23 points, 8 rebounds, and like I said, my teammates were stealing my rebounds. 4 rebounds for it to boost, 2 rebounds for Spud Webb, 14 rebounds total as a team. That's still a pretty good first game with the strat. Like I said, I think it works better in Spotlight Sims. But let's play one more game of Triple Threat offline and see how well we do getting rebounds. Alright, so game two we're playing versus... Anthony Davis, Eric Gordon, Jose Calderon. This is Ruby Anthony Davis though. He has a 72 three-point shot. Even worse than Poku. So even if you match up versus big men, you can still get good matchups. All because the big men are gonna fire threes if you give them space. You want to contest shooters on the perimeter like Calderon, but you want to wait under the rim too with Wesley. Leave AD open very early again, and Utah steals the rebound again. He's not going to steal too many of them. Last game he got four rebounds, which isn't too bad. David Wesley still had eight rebounds last game, so I can live with that. You can literally just sit here and leave AD open, and he's going to shoot that. Wow, that's a bad shot. David gets the rebound, and yeah, you can do this every time. In this situation, use to boost, double team call to Roan, and leave someone else open. You don't want to give up layups, so that's why I double teamed right there. You're cool with giving up threes because the difficulty in the first place is not very high, but you don't want to give up open layups because your tallest player is six feet tall. You don't want to have guys six feet tall guarding Anthony Davis in the post. That's a terrible idea. Nah, for real, this man David Wesley's eating on the glass. He has eight points, seven rebounds. Once again, Eric Gordon shoots a mid-range, he misses, 8 points, 8 rebounds for David Wesley. He's about to get a double-double, points and rebounds, being matched up with Anthony Davis. Think about that. In fast break situations, always cut off the rim. Look at AD in the corner. Don't let him get too close to the basket. Right here, AD flares back out to the wing, and he misses. My teammate stole my rebound again, but it's okay. Be ready to contest perimeter shots. Right there, that's great defense. Another stolen rebound. Come on. We're up 19 to 10, so I'm going to keep on giving them the ball, and we're going to see how many rebounds we can get. We're under the rim. Hey, we stole the rebound from Anthony Davis. At the beginning of the video, I had four. Last game, we had eight. This game, 10, so we're done. And there's another rebound right there. I'm going to cut off the pass right here. AD's not driving in. Good contest by Taboos, another rebound for Wesley. So defense matters, but not really because I'm literally leaving Anthony Davis open. He shoots it again, he misses again. 13 rebounds for Wesley, oh my gosh. I don't want to lose this game, so let's go ahead and make sure we win right here. He has the ball, shoots it, and there we go. David Wesley with a monster stat line, 19 points, 13 rebounds as a six foot tall guard. 19 points, 13 rebounds is insane. And once again, Spud Webb and Taboos were stealing my rebounds. This game went on for 9 minutes, but we got 13 out of 20 rebounds, and now I'm officially done with the challenge myself. So yeah, we played two games, won both games, and got a combined 21 rebounds in those two games. Guarding AD and Poku, two 7-foot bigs. And you guys see it right here, man. 20 out of 20 rebounds for David Wesley. That was pretty easy, man. A lot easier than I expected. Like I said, guarding Anthony Davis could be kind of tough. Guarding Poku could be kind of tough. So if those guys are really sitting in the paint, getting rebounds over you, go to Spotlight Challenges, go to 2015, 2017, 
Game number two, you guys know I like this game right here. I talk about it all the time. If you guys want a quick demonstration, Kyle Lowry, six feet tall, Trey Burke, six feet tall, Patrick Beverly, six foot one. So in terms of size, this matchup is way more favorable. You could still sag off, or you could play actual defense. It's your choice. The best thing about this game is that it goes to 50. Those triple threat games go to 21, so naturally it's a longer game. More shot attempts, more chances to get rebounds. Even though I think this team is more talented than some of the teams you're gonna play. I'm gonna see how many rebounds we can get. I'm gonna see how good of a stat line we can have with David Wesley. And then I'll show you guys at the end of the video how we do. I'll show you guys the highlights. Alright guys, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I got frustrated, I stopped the montage, because once again my teammates kept on stealing my rebounds. Four rebounds for Utah, five rebounds for Spud Webb, stop stealing my freaking rebounds! Not for real though guys, Utah and Spud Webb, they're not gonna steal an insanely high percentage of rebounds. 11 rebounds this game, 13 rebounds last game, 8 rebounds the game before that, in just 3 games showing you guys my strat with David Wesley. So basically to summarize the strat, I'd say this is what you do. If there's a big man on the other triple threat team who can't shoot, leave him open, sit under the rim. Give him space, he's gonna shoot it. If there's a guard who can't shoot, give them space, move their defender out of the way, and move in with David Wesley so you can get the rebound with him. In the spotlight game, feel free to play actual defense. The tallest player on the other team is 6 foot 1, so it's not a hype mismatch. And yeah, you're gonna spend pretty much no MT if you get Spud Webb and Utah to boost. There are other options, you could get Isaiah Thomas. You can get guys like that, but Utah, about a thousand MT, and Spud Webb, less than a thousand MT. Both of them were pretty cheap, so you want David Wesley to be your tallest player, you want him by the rim as much as possible, and if you get mashed up with the team on triple threat that can shoot the lights out, even the center, I say just restart the game. We had 4 out of 20 rebounds with Wesley when I began this video. We got 8 the next game, 13 the next game. If you take away my first 4 rebounds, we would have been done in 2 games. So yeah. Buy some midgets, leave their worst shooter open, corral those rebounds with David Wesley, and you're gonna have an easy 1,250 XP. Man, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. Shout out to everybody who's still watching right now. If this video helped you out, I would love it if you subscribed if you haven't already. I stream 2K almost daily and post 2K content whenever I don't stream. So if you guys like my team content, I think you're in the right place. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped every single one of you guys out. You guys stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next stream or video.